Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by Hello everyone, it's me, Rhea Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Today we have a couple of things on the list. We are mostly in my kitchen. It is needing some attention. The kids have been so busy with after school activities that I have just been beat. So I need to tidy up a lot of the kitchen and then we're just doing some things around my house. I hope you are doing well. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna get our to-do list done today. Let's get started. Okay, so we are doing our family Valentine's Day celebration early this year because Connor has a work thing on Valentine's Day. So I am currently working on a cake. I wanna get that baking and while it's baking, I'm going to tackle all of the dishes. They've just piled up. I cleared out the refrigerator early this morning and kind of clean that out, but I haven't done the dishes. So we're gonna get the oven preheated, get the cakes in the oven, and then while those are baking, we are gonna tackle as much of the kitchen as possible. The stove needs attention, but the dishes are the top priority. They are just overflowing and driving me crazy. So that is what we are doing. Leave a comment down below. What are you working on today? I love to hear from you. Let's get it all done. cakes are in the oven. Every year we do a family Valentine's Day dinner. This year I opted to make a cake to go along with the heart-shaped pizzas I make every year. It's very fun. My kids love it. I did have to make a pit stop here to clean up the art cabinet. I did just reorganize this and clean it out so it was a lot easier to get everything back in there but I still was like why did you just leave it right outside the door? You could have put it right back in. <laughs> it was so easy but oh well. I'm gonna get the dishwasher unloaded and get everything put away and then load it up with all the dirty dishes. We kind of got off on our dishwasher cycle. We usually run it the night before and then unload it in the morning, but we've had to do some midday ones. And so we just had a lot of dishes for some reason, but oh well, they will get done and all will be well again once we get back on our dishwasher schedule. I really like the reusable Ziploc bags, but they are a little tedious. I find that I will kind of put it off getting them washed. I'll wait until I have a couple before I do it, which not a great habit. So I'm trying to be better about it. But as you can see, this week was not the week for that. Uh, like I mentioned, I had cleared out the refrigerator early in the morning. And so I just have some of the stuff I didn't want to put in the dishwasher to hand wash, plus the dishes from dinner the night before. I, if it's a hand wash dish and I am not feeling washing dishes before bed, they will sit there. And it's always risky when it's the air fryer or the cast iron because there's a chance that it's gonna leave a rust spot. So mercifully, I was able to avoid that this time. I can get the rust spots out usually, but at least I didn't leave them in the sink because it usually happens if I leave everything in the sink. I love using the cast iron skillet, but even though I've done it a bunch of times, there is something a little intimidating about washing it for some reason. Okay, I pulled these out. 
They're really, really flat. This is what I get for using a boxed mix. I, believe it or not, I have better luck making cakes from scratch than I do <laughs> following a box mix, which if you knew me, that tracks. So these are out. I had another box of Funfetti. So we have another set of cakes going. I followed the box directions to the T. I was just so focused I needed to get those in. I didn't film it, but we'll just have a nice layered cake, which I guess maybe it's the best worst case scenario. We'll just have more cake layers. But what I'm gonna do next is pull these hood vent filters, get them soaking in some soapy water, and work on cleaning the stove while the other cakes bake. <laughs> oh, geez. It was because I did not bring my ingredients to room temperature. I really need to be better about doing that, but sometimes I just get so excited or I'm in a hurry. Oh well, I'm using Dawn dish soap to get a nice soapy sink for these filters. They were crazy greasy again. I've been using the stove a lot for dinners and meal preps and things, so they have definitely been taking a hit and you will see the grease just come out of them as I push them down into the water. You'll see the soap just kind of turns brown. Ugh, gross. House and I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure. Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, brick by brick, now let me ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna be by the by side. I wanna be there, won't you be mine? I'm using the Dawn Power Wash for pretty much everything else stove related. I absolutely love this stuff. And I was wondering what your favorite cleaning product was. Like what's the one thing that you always have and it's a tragedy if you run out? Because more and more I have become just reliant on this Dawn Power Wash. This stuff is amazing. I was skeptical. I wasn't sure if it was really what everybody was saying it was, but I love it. It does such a good job of breaking down grease and just getting things so clean. I absolutely love it. So tell me, what is your go-to product? What is the thing that you absolutely love? I'm very curious and I might try it. I did use the Scour Daddy to kind of scrub around the uh, burners a little bit. And as you can see, it did loosen up some more in conjunction with the Dawn Power Wash, but this is looking so much cleaner. It's so much better. This stove gets used a lot, so the, the Dawn Power Wash and the Scour Daddy are a really good team when it comes to maintaining it. Getting these rinsed was a little awkward because I already had stuff soaking in the sink. So I just kind of half-heartedly did it. I got the worst of the soap off and then we will just wipe the rest off with a damp microfiber cloth. It was a little awkward though. I made just a terrible mess. I've had so many thoughts spinning in my head. I wanna right my wrongs. Never thought they would do such harm. You got so many reasons spinning in your head That's why you left mm. Indispensable pain in your chest Leave us for the best or you would break That is why you left without a text Our second batch of cake is done. These ones are a little bit taller than the other ones, but they're still kind of flat because I didn't let the eggs come to room temperature. Oh well. I am going to wipe down the counter since I cleaned the grates on here. I just want to get this part taken care of while the filters continue to soak and then we will wash those babies. They were gross. They were really gross and it was really satisfying to get them all rinsed out. 
and I'm going to play some music. Keep cleaning. Let me know what you're working on today. I hope you are doing well, getting the rest that you need, accomplishing the goals that you need, whatever needs to happen for you. I'm cheering you on. Let's get stuff cleaned up or not. Let's sit and relax. Depends on what you need. going to let those sit for a while to really make sure they're nice and dry before I put them back. So we are just going to continue getting stuff done. I need to get the cakes out of their pans, pull off the parchment paper. I'm going to get the dishwasher started. Still lots to do on the list. you're wondering no those pans did not get all the way clean i'm really bad at the dishwasher oh well though they were cleaner I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast When it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that it moves And the way that it laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine To be mine 
the hood bent. We have to clean the hood bent. Ugh, gross. This was why I felt like, well, what do I do now? As I waited for the filters to soak. And it was because I was supposed to be cleaning the hood vent and I forgot because I got distracted by the cake. Ugh, man, how many times has somebody said, I'm sorry, I got distracted by cake. I know I've said it a number of times. Cake's delicious. I'm just using, again, the Dawn Power Wash on this hood vent. It was super greasy. It, I feel like it got greasier a lot faster than the last time I had to clean it, but oh well. I've said before, we've been using our stove a little bit more lately, so that's probably why it's been getting extra gross. So it probably means that I need to stop using my stove and go back to using my crock pot again. Well, that is the kitchen nearly done aside from just doing the floors and things. So I am going to continue kind of prepping for our little family Valentine's party and get candy put out on the table. One of you had suggested I do that with bowls of candy in this basket here because it was a little sparse and I thought that would be a great thing to do for our little family get together. So I'm gonna get the table wiped. I got a bunch of candy from Costco and I'm just gonna put it in bowls in the basket here. And I'll tell you, my kids were very excited to just have candy available, ready and available to grab. And I'm not gonna lie, I also enjoyed it. And I recognize we did not need three Costco bags of candy and I'm planning on using the candy for like little Valentine's gifts for teachers. So the plan is for us not to eat three Costco bags of sweets. That's the plan. Now Valentine's day has not happened yet. So, I mean, there's a chance that there won't be anything left, but so far we have not eaten all the Costco candy. I'm using these glass dishes. I got them from my grandmother. I absolutely love them and they fit perfectly in this basket for all these delicious candies. Each one of these candies was so good. Well, I'm going to start the floors soon, but I figured I might as well get the living room tidied up, vacuum up those floors, and then I can just use the Tinko on all of the floors to get them all mopped. My kids are getting better about cleaning up their wrappers and stuff, but it's still a struggle. I'm still just finding them everywhere. So we've actually instituted the you can only eat at the table for a while now just because I keep finding garbage everywhere and I may have said that perhaps I'll stop buying snacks if this continues so we will see how things go Ugh. my kids they are absolutely wonderful they just get really excited about things and forget stuff I mean don't we all I forgot to clean the hood vent because I was excited about cake. So they're going to forget to throw their garbage away because they're excited about something, right? Still finding wrappers, Good grief. Uh, this picture is one I was just kind of seeing how it looked in that frame in this room. I do want to do a gallery wall above the piano and I've just kind of been collecting things, but haven't really taken the plunge and done it yet. I need to take that shelf down 
and kind of work things out. I don't have all the pieces that I want for the wall yet. So in time that will happen and I'm just kind of been slow to getting it all together. I mean, what's the rush? It's my house. It doesn't have to happen right now. So someday maybe you will see that gallery wall. Maybe we'll even put it up together. Who knows? I'm just gonna get this all vacuumed up, vacuum some of the rugs, and then we're going to use the Tinko, which I am officially just obsessed with that thing. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me every night. When I close my eyes, I see. I got this Tinko on a Black Friday deal. I had been talking about it, asking all of you, do you have one? What's your favorite wet dry vacuum? I was so excited. And when I first used it, I thought eh, it's okay. But the more I have used it, the more I have just been so glad that I own this thing. It's so handy. I don't have to deal with like mop buckets or anything. I can vacuum and mop at the same time. It's just really, really convenient. And as you can see, we have a lot of hard floors that need to be mopped. We've got just this whole area, the hallway, bathroom, mudroom, the office is also hard floors. So it's just really nice to have, just to get things done pretty quickly, which I'm really, really grateful for, especially with just how busy things have been with the kids. It's been nice to kind of have something to make it just go that much faster and it's a little easier, like your arms don't get as tired, which I mean, pros and cons. I love a good upper body workout, but sometimes I've already done one and I don't wanna do another one that day. So there you go. That's how I feel about the Tinko. This thing is probably one of the greatest things I've ever bought for myself. <laughs> talking forever then I don't get where this thing goes so sick of waiting for nothing and all I want is to hold you close and all my stupid friends try to bring me yeah. to my senses but I'd rather be logical but calling you I can't let go well that is the house clean I would be remiss if I didn't finish that cake and show it to you though. So I'm gonna get some buttercream going. I have my handy assistant here, Miss Alice, who is always down to make sure that the buttercream tastes just as it should. So I just make buttercream. I don't follow a recipe. It's just butter and powdered sugar and you mix it together until it tastes as sweet as you want it. I added vanilla and a little bit of milk to thin it out. Alice gave it the seal of approval it looked perfect, so we are gonna put this cake together. This cake turned out good in spite of the fact that I could not get it to rise higher than like half an inch. As soon as I'm feeling something, I just take another shot. I always steal one of the Lazy Susans from my spice cabinet and I use it as a turntable for my cakes. It's so handy, you don't need a special one, just use one you already have. It's perfect. Look at those skinny little cakes. Oh, Rhea. 
I can't believe that you let me go so now. So I get a little drunk on a Monday night by myself, staying up all night so I don't just lay and think about you. It's okay, but I'm all messed up. Don't know what to do to forget about you. So I get. And as you can see, I opted not to level these cakes out because there was barely any cake, anyways. And then I just alternated which ones were flatter than the others just to kind of even things out. But I had just barely enough buttercream. I only ever use a cup of butter and I kind of like that sparse side. So it was fine. It was fine. The cake tasted great. I'm a little self-conscious about how thin the layers are, but it is what it is. I can't go back in time and I'm not gonna waste the cake. So I'm just gonna get it all iced. I had a few candy hearts left over from my Galentine's Day party that I threw for my friends. I'm gonna put those on the top. This cake turned out great. And you know, honestly, I have produced worse things. My friends, this is where I leave you. I was going to film a little bit of our family dinner, but aside from a shot of the pizza, I just kind of forgot. We were having a lot of fun, but I'm just gonna leave you here, cleaning up my spice cabinet and wiping off this counter. I am so grateful for you. I so appreciate your time. I mentioned I'm coming up on my one year here on YouTube. March 17th is the day and I am going to be doing a giveaway, which I will be announcing likely in my next video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. I just want to show my appreciation for all of you. But this is where I leave you. I'm so thankful for you. I hope that you are doing well. I will see you next time. Bye.